started with our press conference with Dr. Paul. Thank you so much for coming out today. It's going to be a tremendous crowd today. We sold over 10,000 tickets. We expect several thousand more attendees. It's going to be a wonderful day celebrating our traditional American values of limited government, personal liberty. So with no further ado, Congressman Ron Paul. Thank you. Appreciate uh, all of you coming. I won't have a very long opening statement. I'll be open for questions. But the most common question I'm going to ask, I'll go ahead and answer that question, and that is, why are we here? And uh, very simply, it's a continuation of something that was started in the uh, campaign, uh, the primary race for president, that uh, we have followed up because there was so much momentum and determination and excitement that uh, the supporters didn't want it to be dropped. So it was more or less something to satisfy the enthusiasm that had been built for the message. And uh, this is something that's been very important to me because it, the message that I've been trying to deliver for 30 years and not a lot of people paid much attention, but all of a sudden the country seemed to be ready <coughs> and ripe for this. And uh, I agreed to continue this effort in the form of a new organization, uh, the Campaign for Liberty. And of course, this rally is called uh, uh, the Rally for the Republic because that's what we emphasize. We emphasize the Republican form of government and uh, strong beliefs in limited government, strong respect for the Constitution, and determination that we have the rule of law. And we have come to the conviction and the belief that uh, we have strayed from that, not only as a party, but as a country. And we believe firmly that these, this effort should be continued in uh, the political system today. And since the Republican Party professes to believe in these principles of limited government, low taxations, and balanced budgets, uh, our movement has, uh, generally speaking, uh, you know, uh, have, has wanted to stay and build in the Republican Party. And to me, this is a great advantage to the Republican Party because we brought a lot of new people in, especially young, young people. So to express this enthusiasm, excitement, we are holding the rally. It is intended to be very, very positive and to promote something we consider very, very valuable. And uh, we're looking forward to a very exciting day today. Thank you. With you at new service, and Congressman, how many delegates do you have at the Republican National Convention, and are you releasing them to vote for Senator McCain? No, we're not urging them to vote for Senator McCain. Uh, what they do there is somewhat incidental because obviously Senator McCain has the votes. The number of votes that we do have are uncertain because I'm sure somebody can come up with a precise number of those dedicated by law to be a Ron Paul supporter, and I've heard numbers generally around uh, between 40 and 50. But uh, the other night we had a reception for our delegates and our supporters and alternates and sympathizers, and there were hundreds, and uh, some people say there's 300 or 400 actually uh, on, on, on the floor and have access to the convention that are truly sympathizers. Because there were some that were nominated for other candidates, uh, whether they were could be uh, delegates or Romney delegates, uh, are very interested in what we're talking about and are supportive uh, for what we're doing, and at least giving us moral support with the full recognition that uh, it's it's uh, not representing a so-called takeover or, or changing the platform because uh, that's just not available to us. Congressman Paul. Where are we? Matt, Matt Jarvin here with publicmedia.tv. Um, where is this country headed if we do not return to a constitutional form of government? Where is this country headed? It's been uh, totally neglected. We're in serious trouble because uh, it isn't the executive branch alone, and it isn't this administration, it isn't only this Congress, and it isn't only this uh, Supreme Court. But over the years, and we talk about decades, maybe over the hundred years, there's been a gradual erosion 
of respect for the Constitution and a misunderstanding about what freedom is all about. For some reason, 100 years ago, they got to thinking that freedom had two parts to it. You could be for economic freedom, and you don't have to be for personal liberty, and vice versa. And uh, what we're trying to do is reverse that trend and say that freedom is across the board. If you have freedom to live your life as you choose, you have the right to eat the fruits of your labor. And uh, I think all the departments uh, and, and all branches have been very neglectful of that principle. And uh, the Constitution is cited in Washington when we take the oath of office. Or if they want a bill passed that conforms to what they believe in, they think you can defend about the Constitution, but a precise defense of the Constitution on principle is essentially void in Washington. Congressman, how worried are you that your support might take away? Go, go ahead, go ahead, sir. Congressman, how worried are you that your support might take away from the Republican nominee in the general election? Well, I don't worry a whole lot about that uh, because I don't think it will do a lot of it. I would think that uh, for every uh, vote that uh, might leave McCain because of what I've said, maybe there will be two that will leave Obama because it's Obama that is generally challenging us on the next generation, the young people. A lot of young people think that Obama might represent a more peaceful approach to our foreign policy, and we haven't come to that conclusion. He's every bit as hawkish as, as uh, Senator McCain is. So, in reality, the Republican Party ought to be welcoming me because I appeal to young people. Young people make up uh, our organization, and they are wanting to be Republicans, and yet they've been shunned at the state, uh, at the state conventions, and uh, I think it's a serious mistake. But the litmus test is if you don't file and pay homage to the nominee, therefore you can't be a Republican. And uh, I, I don't think that should be the case. And uh, we, we should uh, have a party that's more open. And uh, they claim it's a big tent. As long as you uh, follow, follow the uh, platform, which quite frankly isn't a whole lot different than the platform of the Democrats. And policies aren't that much different when it comes to foreign policy. One of the most exciting issues that we talk about with young people is monetary policy. Unbelievable. And yet nobody else wants to talk about it. And yet this is something we could energize the young people. And it's totally neutral. It has nothing to do with partisan politics. Why do Republicans say, say, you know, he has a lot of young people who understand monetary policy. So quite frankly, I don't understand why they wouldn't welcome us with open arms. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Dr. Ron Paul, uh, Jason Little John from American Free Press. Uh, the, uh, your campaign largely has been uh, trumpeted by the alternative media and also by the internet largely. And one of the uh, glaring uh, problems that is showing up is the will of the people, the people's voice, in places like New Essex County during their primary where there were people shouting point of order, point of information, to challenge uh, a violation of party rules. What is your organization doing to potentially address those problems and to make sure that those of us who are trying to work from the grassroots up uh, can actually have some success in the process? Well, it is, a, it is a real problem because a lot of our newcomers were a bit naive. They believed that they read the rules they could go in and follow the rules that they would be recognized and they found out the rules would either be changed or ignored and sometimes conventions were actually closed down. And uh, what, what we're doing there is we're having training sessions because uh, our group is very determined. Uh, we had a training session the other day where, on Sunday where they had to pay to come to learn how to work in the process. We had openings for 500 people. We had over 600 show up. They stayed all day long in a place that lost their air conditioning. And they're very determined to go back and learn the rules. And uh, ultimately, it's the numbers. You know, next go around, uh, I think our numbers are going to be much more noticeable. We've only really had a short time. The campaign, the presidential campaign was occurring. Everybody concentrated on it. So all the activity.